Let's write a C program to print elements of an array in reverse order. This is very important program because in all the programs which involves arrays, we will be writing some form of logic to print the elements of array, right? So pay attention to this. Suppose we have an array variable a of 5. The last index is 4. That means if array size is n, the last index is n minus 1. Like this. So here array size is 5, the last index is 4. That means if array uh, size is n, the last index is n minus 1. So the for loop should keep iterating until i value is equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 0. And the index should come in reverse order, right, to print these values. So i minus minus. So decrement the value of i for each iteration of this for loop. So inside for loop, print the value of a of i. So i value will start from 4 and it keeps decrementing from 4 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 1 and 1 to 0. Once i value is 0, this the control exits this for loop. So that's how we print elements of an array in reverse order. Simple logic. Please write it down for yourself without fail, okay? So let me declare, let me define a macro called n and assign it a value of 5. So n is macro template, 5 is macro expansion. Hope you know it already by now because we have produced a lot of video tutorials on macros. So I'll ask the user to enter 5 integer numbers or yeah, 5 integer numbers in this case. So let me assign the value of i to 0. Let me iterate this for loop until i is less than 5 less than 5 because it need to iterate from 0 to 4 which means 5 times okay i'll give i'll make it n because we have defined it here so now the important part that is printing the values of an elements of an array in reverse order so now it gets interesting for assign i value to 0 and i should be less than n and i plus plus so this logic works to print the array elements in proper order, the order in which it's present from 0 to 4, index 0 to 4. So let me compile and run this program for you first. So I'll give 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It should print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let me write the logic. Just change, alter the values of this i inside this for loop. So observe here. The index starts from 0 ends at 4 which is 0 to 4 which means n minus 1 right i could write this as i is less than or equal to n minus 1 which is 4 in this case so let me alter that and execute and show it to you as a proof now so n value is 5 here but the index ends at 4 so so i should be less than or equal to n minus 1 should work too so let me show that to you i'll give 1 2 3 4 and 5 and it's working as expected right so now small change let me cut this off and initialize the value of i to n minus 1 because we need to traverse this array in reverse order right so this for loop should keep iterating until i values greater that is index value is greater than or equal to 0 once the index is 0 this control should exit this for loop so for each iteration of this for loop the i value which holds the index of array should decrement so that's it with that logic we will be printing the values or the elements of array in reverse order it should print 5 4 3 2 1 and it's working so please concentrate on initialization of this variable i and iteration of this for loop until i is greater than or equal to 0. 0 is the last, actually 0 is the first element, first index. And for each iteration of this for loop, i value should decrement by 1. Okay, hope you understand this. If you didn't get this, please watch this video once again and please follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.